La Nina is officially coming, and here's what that could mean for tornado season, hurricane season, and winter. On Thursday, the Climate Prediction Center issued a La Nina watch. They expect a weak La Nina to develop starting in October and carrying into the winter. La Nina is the opposite of El Nino. They switch every two to seven years. We call the overall pattern ENSO, or the El Nino Southern Oscillation. Right now, we're kind of in between, so neutral. La Nina begins as a cooling of water temperatures in the eastern tropical Pacific. That jump starts a chain reaction process in the atmosphere. Now for starters, the cool Pacific water cools the air above, causing sinking air and high pressure. That air sinks in the Pacific, allowing air in the Atlantic to rise. That helps increase our Atlantic hurricane season. We might catch a tail end of the effects heading into like late October, maybe early November, so an extra boost at the end of the season. Now what about winter? Well, the sinking air and high pressure in the Pacific also pushes the wintertime jet stream far north into the Gulf of Alaska. Then it dives and arcs back down over parts of the north central lower 48, letting frigid Canadian air spill across the northern plains in the upper Midwest. The Pacific Northwest, meanwhile, has the jet stream just aimed right at it, meaning a lot of precipitation over the winter. And the jet stream races northeast over the Appalachians, leading to a messy wintry mix over I-95 as warm and cold battle it out. And there's even some research to suggest that in the spring months, La Nina could enhance tornado season. By then, we might be coming out of La Nina, but we also know that that those big swings between La Nina and El Nino also favor tornadoes. That might have been a contributing factor to why 2024 was such a busy tornado season. Lots of things to sort out. Stay tuned.